Congress for nearly half a century, its time seemed right, and it was adopted last spring by an overwhelming majority of Congress. Now, that didn't mean that the Equal Rights Amendment for Women became law. It then has to be ratified by the individual states. To date, 30 states have ratified the amendment. It still has eight states, it's eight states short to go of the three-fourth majority required before it can become the 27th Amendment to our Constitution. The amendment itself uh, seems simple. What it says is this, equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Seemingly very simple, but it's become one of the most complex and complicated and controversial uh, proposed amendments in our history. This morning, we're going to debate the pros and cons of the Equal Rights Amendment with Mrs. Lucy Wilson Benson, who is president of the League of Women Voters and a leader in the new campaign launched to win ratification by 1976 in time for the nation's 200th birthday. If it is not ratified by 1979 by the states, then it, it's defunct. I understand it. That, that's that's right. it. And uh, on the opposing side, Mrs. Phyllis Schlafly of Alton, Illinois, prominent conservative writer and lecturer, and probably the foremost opponent uh, to the uh, Equal Rights Amendment. Mrs. Schlafly, let's, let's begin with you, because uh, as I said earlier, prob probably more than anyone else, you have brought to the attention of the public uh, what you consider the reasons for opposing the ERA Equal Rights Amendment. Would you give us those reasons? Yes, we oppose the Equal Rights Amendment because it won't do anything at all for women in the field of employment. But on the other hand, it will take away from women some of the most important rights and benefits they now have. For example, the laws of every one of our 50 states make it the obligation of the husband to support his wife and family. These laws are not equal. The husband has the obligation. And these are the laws which give the wife her legal right to be a full-time wife and mother supported by her husband. Now, ERA, or the Equal Rights Amendment, will invalidate these laws because no longer can you have any legislation that imposes an obligation on one sex but doesn't impose on the other. You don't have to take my word for it. You can now take the word of the Superior Court of the State of Pennsylvania in a sensational decision handed down just last month. You see, Pennsylvania has a state equal rights amendment, and it's already in effect. And in this new case called Wegan versus Wegan, the court threw out the Pennsylvania laws which give special benefits and rights to women which are not given to men. And uh, the wife in this case argued that ERA was supposed to apply only to uh, employment and jobs and education, but the court said, too bad. Uh, the language is very precise, and it doesn't admit of any exceptions in the field of domestic relations. Now, this affects all the rights pertaining to support, separate maintenance, and, uh, and uh, uh, divorce. And uh, this, these are the rights that the women in Pennsylvania have lost. And now, in the matter of the draft, uh, the Equal Rights Amendment will positively make women subject to the draft on an absolutely equal basis with men. And this means they'll be put in combat and on warships just like the men. Now, we all hope that uh, we're not going to have any more wars or any more draft. Uh, but there's a flaming war in the Middle East, and history shows that wars do come, even when people don't want them. And uh, it would be a terrible shame to tie our country with a constitutional noose around our necks, whereby women would have to be drafted on the same basis as men and assigned to all the same jobs. And now we're told that there are women in the Israeli army, and that's true, but you watch the pictures. They don't have any women uh, driving the tanks or in combat. But the Equal Rights Amendment would require women to be put in combat exactly like men. Now, in the matter of the protective labor legislation, the Equal Rights Amendment would wipe out all the guarantees that women who work in industry and do manual work have had uh, through these years because of the state protective labor legislation. Uh, these are the laws which give certain benefits to women and guarantee their right to be treated like a woman instead of like a man. Uh, these are important when women are competing in, in jobs that require physical strength rather than uh, intellectual or academic qualifications. Uh, it's claimed that the Civil Rights Act has thrown out some of these, and that's true, but it hasn't thrown out them all. And uh, it, to any extent that it's thrown out by legislation, it can be put back in by legislation. But if we tie this constitutional noose around our necks, then women have forever lost these rights and benefits. Mr. Schlafly, as 
has raised the major objections. There are others that are small. There are some that are, that are rather foolish, but but these are and and these are the major ones, and they're very uh, important arguments. The Equal Rights Amendment uh, was supposed to give uh, not more privilege. But was supposed to make life better, a finer quality for women. How do you answer these objections and your general uh, uh, reasons for supporting ERA? Be happy to do so. The Equal Rights Amendment will provide equal legal rights for women as the Constitution now provides for men. Women, contrary to most people's understanding, are not included explicitly in our Constitution. The Equal Rights Amendment will make our Constitution say clearly that women are included and will help enormously in changing laws, both federal and state, which permit all kinds of discrimination to exist and to continue against women. The uh, recent judgment by the Supreme Court said that the laws um, which are supposed to protect women put women not on a pedestal at all, but in a cage. We believe that the Equal Rights Amendment will make a very important difference to all women, to wives, to mothers, to single women, to widows in all kinds of economic areas. It will reinforce and strengthen the Equal Pay Act, which already exists, and the Equal Employment Opportunities Act, which already exists. It will give women equal rights in insurance, in pension benefits, in getting mortgages, in getting credit to own a business, and in many other economic ways. May I ask you, we have not too much time left before we'll have to pause and come back, but may I ask you to take up the specific uh, uh, objections that Mrs. Schlafly has raised. Why don't we start with the first one, which was alimony and child support law. Well, of course the child support law is a snare and a delusion and used by the opponents uh, uh, to uh, scare the living daylights out of people for no reason at all. Uh, as Mrs. Schlafly well knows in her own state of Illinois, the Illinois law already holds husbands and wives equally responsible for debts and for support of the children and of the family. Furthermore, the law that made men uh, um, completely and only responsible for the support of their family was abolished in the state of Illinois 44 years ago. The, uh, we do not believe that there is anything to worry about in this area of family support. It is not going to leave women uh, out in the cold all by themselves at all. The, um, uh, the other area in combat the Equal Rights Amendment is not going to make all women be required to be put into combat. It will open the armed services equally as they are now open to men. It will mean that in time of war, women will undoubtedly serve their country, which is a very good thing. The uh, combat uh, requirement is not a requirement at all. Women wouldn't be required to go into combat any more than men are. Very few men in the armed services actually ever see combat. The decision Would is they made... be relieved of duty if they had children? Well, the Congress is the one that makes exemptions for serving in the armed services for men, and they would make the same kinds of exemptions, presumably, for women. Now, the third point was that these laws, instead of helping women uh, uh, in, in the labor force, that they will take away some of the protective and restrictive, is that, is that right, uh, laws which which are give them benefits. Uh, which should give them benefits now. Well, of course, it's very questionable whether they're benefits. The so-called protective laws about lifting weights are a little ridiculous when you consider how many wives and mothers carry heavy children around all the time and do all kinds of heavy lifting in the household. And experience has shown that the, the um, protective laws have worked more to the disadvantage of women in terms of being able to take certain jobs when they work, how they work, and at what jobs they work. They've turned out to be a it would, it would reinforce equal the Equal Pay and the Equal, equal Employment Acts, which already exist. It would make discrimination as much as possible on the basis of time. It seems to me you had about one minute time uh, less than Mrs. Schlafly, so will you continue? Thank you. Another area we believe that the Equal Rights Amendment, and, and in fact most people do believe, those supporters, uh, will have a very positive effect on, on the lives of women is in public education. It will mean that girls, especially in vocational schools and courses and in job training programs, will have the same opportunities as boys now have. This is particularly true in vocational training, in government-funded job training programs, in training programs sponsored by the military, and in professional and graduate schools. We believe it will also have a very good effect on admissions policies of public colleges and universities, which by and large across the country require higher admission standards for women than for men. We do believe it's of overriding importance in a very positive way to women and to men. In other words, to all people in this country. One fast question in education. Does this mean if this is passed that you can't have all male and all female schools? Uh, it would mean that you couldn't have all male and all female schools in public 
educational institutions, but it would not have anything to do with private educational institutions. Uh, yes, uh, everybody who's for the ERA at these hearings admits that it will have to do with private, will abolish all male and all female schools That's insofar as they get federal aid, which is about 95% of the schools. But somebody's given you some very bad misinformation about Illinois law. The Illinois current law specifically says, Chapter 23, Paragraph 10-2, quote, A husband is liable for the support of his wife and a wife for the support of her husband if he is in need of such support. Or That's the Illinois become... criminal law, and I was studying yes, right. the revised statutes, Chapter yes, but 68. This is a revised statute. Can we, instead of going into this, yes. to get the very basic this, issue? This is the law, and it's a law that gives a wife her right to be supported. And what you said about Illinois law is absolutely inaccurate and I was talking about the right of the wife to be supported and I suggest that you read this new Pennsylvania court decision and as the uh, US Law Week which is just out this week tells that this new decision in Pennsylvania which wipes out the right wa rights uh, the rights of the wife in regard to support and separate maintenance and divorce will become the rule of the nation if ERA is I would like that just to be one of the most well let me I have to go back and forth let me that's probably the most telling count against it that the and wife would lose her right to be supported the wife now has has no right to support, regardless of what Mrs. Schlafly says. And in the courts, in practice, the courts never interfere with an ongoing marriage. Just a moment. Let's the courts never time. interfere with an ongoing marriage. The only way a wife in any state in this country can force her husband to support her is to file for separate maintenance, to file for separation, or for divorce. And this the would not cancel that not out. You ever. Feel. Do not ever uh, interfere in an ongoing marriage, regardless uh, of what the, the Mrs. domestic Mrs. relations Benson, law Somebody says. has given you some very bad misinformation. I suggest that you ask your lawyers for American Jurisprudence Second, the most up-to-date volume on American law, specifically tells how the states, uh, the state laws require the husband to support his wife and to provide her with a home, a basic right that women have. We have many cases in Illinois, such as the Carson Percy, Perry Scott cases, and many cases in ongoing marriages where the courts have held that the wife that has to have her bills paid by her husband and I can cite them for you and if anybody will write to me I can give them to you and I have the citations of the laws of every one of the 50 states and it is this US law week just out this week that shows how the wife has lost these rights in the state of Pennsylvania and if you're in one of the other 49 states you better get busy fast and get this law de <laughs> defeated or you won't uh, have the, the fact rights. remains now in the, the matter of the draft, draft please I have really it's only fair for the, the fact remains minutes. that the courts do not interfere in ongoing marriages they it is your position that, that a woman that could still get child support and alimony That is correct, necessary. and this is the position more and more states are writing their child support and their alimony laws in terms of spouse rather than husband or wife so that it is an equal thing in terms of equal responsibility. And if one person stays home and the other works, the courts judge that the person who works is the one who is responsible for supporting. It's really a very common sense thing to say that, that all wives are going to lose their right to be supported uh, is to, to uh, uh, accuse both the, the uh, system and the courts of, of capricious behavior. And it is, it is completely ridiculous. That's all there we is to it. We have how much time left? We have one minute. Well, of you course, you can seconds. take up your complaint with the Superior Court of the State of Pennsylvania, which has just laid down this new ruling, which is devastating for the rights of Your wives. major objection to the Equal Rights Amendment is in terms of, of, of alimony and child support. No, you keep diverting it to alimony and child support. I'm talking about the right of the wife to be supported. And these are what the laws say. As they say in Illinois, a husband is liable for the support of his wife. And that's what gives her the her right. The courts never commit the that. No, it's to, only fair, Mrs. Schlafly. I have not diverted. I'm going back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's only fair. You've taken the subjects you've each wanted to discuss. I have not. You can take anything you want. I, I would just like to say in closing that uh, in addition to both political parties uh, and a vast number of women all over this country, uh, the president of our country, the American Association of University Women support this amendment, the General Federation of Women's Clubs, the Business and Professional Women, the American Association of University Women, including the, and the League of Women Voters, and the National Council of Churches, and a great many student organizations. Uh, we have a, maybe 15 seconds. Well, the AFL-CIO with 11 and a half they are deciding that right this week. the National Council of Catholic Women with 11 million members and many other organizations are against it. And the uh, AFL-CIO is now not I'm against so it. I'm, I'm going to have to stop both except to say both of these women have important points to make. Both of them have made it. It's important that we know about it. And we suggest that you get in touch with each of their organizations and learn more yourself because it's something that will affect you. I thank you both and I hope we've given you equal opportunity. We've tried. Thank you very much.